necessarily loud crunching sound. Keep your wits about you, friend. Don't you tell me what to do with my wits. Who's this guy? Deserter. Good to know. Ooh, Spacer's Choice Rug. That is looking rather soiled. Anybody watching this? Dervish Mist? Magazine. Shitter. Easy is it to pick someone's pocket while they're laying in bed. Pretty easy. Oh! Another collectible card. Radu is known for his deft coverage of the Wednesday zone. They're just making shit up. There's Radu. Not that collectible, though. It only sells for six. Not that collectible. Like, if that guy's laying right there... If I just take from here without being sneaking... Does he notice? He doesn't notice. And these people just keep ammo everywhere. Am I in space, Texas? I feel like I'm in Space, Texas, you guys. <laughs> What's up, Daniela? How you doing? Welcome. This is their food storage. Taking it. So, super weird that they just have like things for lock picking and hacking into computers just hanging out by their. Look, 23 apples. Taking like their entire food supply. And then I'm gonna sell it back to them. Sell all their apples back to them. Workbench discovered. You think I'm not gonna find whatever you've got back here? You're fucking sadly mistaken. You don't like the random loots in this game? You just woke up here, it's like 9 a.m. Wow, 9 a.m. It's like 9 p.m. for me. 9.55 p.m. in fact. Don't like the random loots in this game? What, uh... What don't you like about it? I, I have mixed feelings, honestly. So this is where the mines were, right? And now there's random weird little lights here, where the mines were. The mines are gone and there's still weird little lights. It's another thing they're wasting electricity on, weird grass lights. Come on, people. I think I've already looked around over here, actually. They're too tiny and I'm half blind. You gotta have those for the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Go on an apple binge. You want to break into a crumble manufacturer, you know how it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I can make some fucking sick pies after this. Hey, here's Thomas. Hey, here's a workbench. Wow, that's a fancy looking workbench. Anything I want to do with this workbench? Auto mag pistol's worth 50. Hunting rifle, though, that can go.
Oh, I could tinker her weapon. I'm not going to, though. Hmm. Thomas is uh, the guy who was supposed to holler if anybody tried to sneak in the back. Right, so... We already know what a fucking credit to his role Thomas is at this place. Keep your wits about you, friend. Keep your wits about you, friend. Okay, you guys are saying that about wits, and I've come in here and stolen most of the goods of the entire town. Keep your wits about you, friend. While you all were completely clueless. So, if somebody needs to be told about keeping their wits... It sure the fuck isn't me. You know what I'm saying? Also, I got on all your roofs, so... If you thought that shit you had hidden up on the roof was safe, think again. Look, we're gonna talk to you in a second, Thomas. Thomas is Parvati's friend. Apparently from when they were kids or something, right? She was talking about that. Oh, okay. I think this shit's hidden from me. From me? I am the finder. Oh, here's their power thing. Hey, do you think I learned my lesson from the last time? Nope. I sure didn't. Still trying to take an electrified thing out without cutting the power first, suffering the damage. Why? Because my character's got low intelligence. I can't be bothered to remember this stuff. Like, electricity hurts you? Nicely done. Standard troop number seven hack. Oh, look at that armor. That kind of matches my whole color scheme with my hair and stuff. But the problem with this armor is I lose all my cool mods. And I lose sneaking and lockpicking and all my cool mods. But I'll hold on to that armor for now. I mean, it only weighs five pounds, or kilograms, or whatever. I think they mean you're witless? Well, maybe maybe they have a point. Maybe they could use real windows instead of spending electricity on fake ones, right? We can make procedurally generated universes in video games, but we still haven't cracked how to do windows. Yeah, windows and mirrors always seem to be really difficult in most video games. Although apparently they have perfectly working mirrors in Cyberpunk. They wanted to make sure we knew that, the developers. Probably next gen. Probably best mirrors in a video game. I wouldn't be surprised. CDG Project Dread, they're, they're pioneers. Pioneers in video game mirrors. All right, Thomas. Here's the deal, Thomas. Got it. Inside voices. Let's see what Thomas has in his pockets. Is. Nothing. Damn it, Thomas. This is your childhood friend, huh, Parvati? Is this your childhood friend? Here goes nothing. Apparently, she's carrying a grudge. I'm fine today. Oh, nice one. Is he still
still alive? No. He doesn't even have loot. What an asshole. Are you seriously? Oh! -ho! Where'd your head go, son? Where'd your head go? Where did his head go? Like, literally, where did his head go? Really should have hollered. Kaboom! That's pretty fun. Okay, I should probably... Oh, <gasps> Physical damage weakness. Now that is a really bad flaw. 25% more physical damage, and you're taking physical damage probably like 60, 70, 80% of the time. That is a horrendous flaw. But whatever, we're gonna um reload because I don't actually want to butcher the town. I just it was for science, you guys. For Joe Science. Did it say deserters are now off put? That's hilarious. Knox would love that. We like hilarious um, reputation things, like when you murder a bunch of people in Fallout New Vegas, but then also, like, help a guy get a sandwich or something, but also murder a bunch of people. They're wish. like, oh, you're a rascal, right? Because that's like the mix of good rep and bad rep. So we've been joking about that rascal thing for, like, years now. What a rascal. So here, apparently, the, the, their equivalent of rascal is off-put. We're kind of off-put that you killed, like, four people in our town. These are some really forgiving people. Murder sandwich, murder sandwich. All right, Thomas. What's your actual deal, buddy? Oh, I uh, didn't see you there. I was, uh... Well, I was just occupying myself with a little engineering. Is that right? Whoa, Miss Parvati. <laughs> Hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? <laughs> hi, hi. <laughs> this fucking guy. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this lady here. Are you from town? Uh, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. The awkwardness between these two is so real. So much awkwardness. Uh... I'll take that as a compliment. Well, what I meant was you're reasonably well-armed and don't look stricken with plague. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying. To everybody here. What? Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Sounds like me. Never too late to start learning. I could give you a couple pointers. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. Just like Parvati. Have you ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? I think it comes I have. in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. I actually found one of them. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. Yeah, I already picked that up. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. I have found one. Day's your lucky day, Thomas. I got one of those data pads you wanted. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? It's part two. Found it in the cannery. Ain't that just ironical. If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. There we go. See? In fact, I put aside something special. On the off chance that somebody'd search out those data pads for me. So see, now if I've brought him a data pad, I can now basically murder like four people in town and it will just cancel out. Right? Oh, what a rascal. 
it's okay that he's a psychopathic murderer. Did bring Thomas that data pad right before he cut Thomas's head off. What a rascal. I'll let you know if I find any others. Sure. I'd be glad to take them off your hands. I want to ask you something. What's on your mind? How long you lived here? Couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. What were you doing out in the wilderness? We all left the cannery for one reason or another. Me? I was let go. Mostly on account of my incompetence. <laughs> I mean, I was incompetent. I couldn't even survive on my own. Grace found me, Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. You weren't incompetent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole and now it doesn't. You could stay, you know. Oh, she's too nice. Here. I'd be happy to... I mean, uh, we could really use... Uh, this isn't coming out right. Uh, if you want, Adelaide would make a place for you. <laughs> she doesn't even respond to that. She literally doesn't even respond. Uh, <laughs> that's cold, Thomas. Alright, I should go. Bye. Any luck finding one of those manuals? Uh, not yet. I'll be back. So that's yet another quest. Uh, we'll find those other ones. Where are we headed? Oh, look at this. Perception. Thomas seemed very fond of you. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. I don't think he's just interested in fixing stuff. <laughs> the tool he was thinking with was definitely not a wrench. Ha <laughs> ha! Are you sure? He, uh, nearly fell over when he saw you. He never told me a word to that effect. And, and since he didn't, I didn't have to say nothing about being... about feeling different. And nothing had to get weird. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. <laughs> okay, I, I got news for you. Things officially got weird. Why is this locked? I think I already asked her about this perception thing about her dad. And now it shows it again and it's locked. I broke your game, Obsidian. Let's get back to it. Where are we headed? Broke your game again. Just like when I got two copies of the geothermal passcode. Because he gave me the passcode and then I found some other thing of dialogue where he gave me the passcode again. Broke your game, Obsidian. If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. Okay, so we've explored this little place, except for the quote-unquote hothouse, where we will talk to Adelaide inside, who's the leader, whom we are supposed to talk to. This is where I stole all the apples. Beside two of City and Zero. Yeah. Broken at launch of City and Game? No! Now let's sell some more of the town's property back to this guy. Something I can help you with? Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Sell some more of the town's property back to this guy. How much is he going to pay me for 
all of their apples. 45 bits. Oh no, this game's in a great state. I'm just fucking around with little tiny minor nitpicky things, like... It's in a great state. Range weapon skills, that can go. Magnum, that can go. Yeah, I'm loaded with the monies. I love the fact that everything I just sold him I stole from this town. The hot house. Hot house. All right. There we are. Coming into. Oh, look at this cool place. Whoa. That's a creepy ass giant stone. Painted statue, isn't it? Oh, gosh. It's so pretty. This is pretty. Pets that are. Why do they have giant stone painted statues? <laughs> Okay. So I think we've reached a good point to uh, wrap things up for the night. If you're watching on YouTube, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you for watching. This has been Josiah Plays The Outer Worlds.